Charles' law states, at constant pressure, the volume of a given mass of an ideal gas increases or decreases by the same factor as its temperature in Kelvin increases or decreases. If you don't understand that, well, just wait a moment and we'll show you. First, we're going to put a little bit of water, about a teaspoon, into a soda can. When heated, the water and air molecules inside the can begin to move very rapidly, most escaping the can. Although few molecules remain in the can, they are moving so rapidly that they exert enough pressure to keep the can from being crushed by the outside or atmospheric pressure. Once you see water vapor billowing out of the can, take metal tongs and quickly turn the can upside down and place it in the water. Get ready for a surprise. When the can is placed in the water, the molecules cool, slowing down and condensing, that is, taking up less room or volume. When this happens, they no longer exert enough pressure inside the can to withstand the atmospheric pressure, and a vacant spot is left in the can. The pressure inside and outside the can is no longer equal, and the greater atmospheric pressure crushes the can. Why did you have to turn the can upside down? If you had put the can in upside right, air would have rushed into the can. The pressure would have been equalized and the can would have remained inflated. Putting it upside down in the water is a simple and rapid way to seal the can so that we can observe the effects of atmospheric pressure. Did you see that? Yeah.